like I said, if you're a parent, an uncle, an aunt, or you just a, you're an advocate for children out there, you want to pay attention to the story. Check this out. It's called "Man Arrested for Trafficking a 13-Year-Old Girl." Man arrested for trafficking a 13 yeah 13-Year-Old Girl. Here, check it out. Parents beware. Monsters yeah. are among us. Yes, they you see are. this man? He was arrested. And here's the thing as well. Before we uh, continue, see this, the people in the in the truth community, like the Dank Williams, the Fellow Mons, NC Catlays, the Kozaks, the Boo Hoo Facts, UD Glitter Stalkers, Puss Sacks, and even a few other people like Barfoot. See, they're trying to blind eye on real stories like this. All they do on the cost today, and you know, pinpoint people like that by the rodents, victim, or. Lindsay Bomb and shit like that. They won't pay attention to stories like this. This is the real stories, you know. Because he took a 13-year-old child across state lines, raped her, and told everyone this was his daughter. What? Whoa. Clayton County Police have arrested this alleged child molester. They say he took a 13-year-old girl from Topeka, Kansas, brought her back to Georgia. Channel 2's Kristen Holloway was in Jonesboro where police found the teen at a Dollar General on Tara Boulevard around 10 p.m. last Thursday. Let's put up a picture of this guy. Check it out. As he's being apprehended. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this. This is what real fucking monsters look like. This is what real creeps, sickles look like. That prey on vulnerable and innocent children. People like in the truth of men need to wake the fuck up. Otherwise, they're going to be, all they're going to do is turn a blind eye. But the logical person is going to know what I'm talking about. This story has a lot of twists and turns. I will highlight some dynamics I think every parent in particular yeah. needs to be aware of. Investigators arrested 33-year-old Howard Graham, that's him, on sex trafficking charges at his job at Clayton County IHOP in the wow. state of Georgia. This is in the metropolitan area of Atlanta. Police said the 13-year-old girl met... Graham on Roblox. It's a gaming app. A gaming app extremely that's extremely popular with kids. Popular with kids. TikTok is very popular with kids. Investigators said that after two days of chatting, Graham encouraged the teen Whoa. to run away from Where's home. Encouraged the teen to run away. He drove all the way to, to, to Topeka, Topeka there. to pick her up, bring her back to Georgia, according to the police report. Let me stop that for a second. Yes. And this is the thing as well, ladies and gentlemen. These people that prey on vulnerable, innocent children will convince them, oh, run away with me. Come be with me. We can have a relationship. We can be together. We can start a family. That's what they do. They use the keywords, you know, like, I'll take care of you. You know, I'll be there for you. I'll be like a father figure of you. We can, we can be together. I'll give you the life you, that you should have. Investigators said the pair had sex multiple times. Whoa. And then the reporting says whether or not it is consensual uh, sex with the it minor is considered rape. rape. It's statutory uh, they cannot rape. give consent, period. All right? So there's no such thing as consent with a minor. The teen eventually told Graham she wanted to go back home to another person who was staying in the home, but Graham took her to the Dollar Tree instead. And that's another thing, he likes, well, yeah. Said right there, the pair having sex multiple times. He fucking groomed her, ladies and gentlemen. He groomed her. You know, he groomed her for sex. And that's the thing. You have sex with a minor, that's, yeah, it's rape. It's, it's statutory rape. So let me explain what happened. He told his roommate that this was his daughter. Whoa. The 13 year old expressed to the roommate. I would like to go home now. The roommate then says, well, talk to your dad about that. All right? I'm sure he will understand. And that's when she exposed the true nature of their relationship. Wow. The roommate, instead of calling police immediately, decided to confront the alleged child molester. He should have called the cops. After friend. this confrontation, the roommate then took the child to a Dollar General store. At that time, the child was able to alert. And here's the thing there. Why did that roommate just take her to the police station? Why take her to Dollar General? 
You should take the police station. That way she can, you know, that way she can open up and tell what happened and make a statement. Her mother, as to her location, the teen's mother was able to alert police that she was on the gaming app. During a news conference, Captain John Ivey spoke about the dangers of the app and why parents need to monitor what their children are doing. The subject got on there and praising these little kids because think they're playing on there with other kids, Ivy said, and they're not. They're playing with people who are preying on their kids. We're extremely lucky. We found, uh, we found this young girl and she's alive. Graham is facing multiple charges, including rape, kidnapping, and sex, sex trafficking. trafficking. Roblox is the name of the app. Roblox. Now for parents, okay? I know we like to give our children certain freedoms. It allows them to adjust to the broader world to become. It's not just Roblox so that you know these kids go on there. I mean, you got gaming sites in there like Discord, Twitch. You know, like teens go on TikTok as well as too, Instagram, Twitter. You know, Facebook. That's another place out there. There's mass gaming on on Facebook as well. Socially independent. But we have to make sure we are paying attention. Yeah. Here's another element of this story that I feel led to highlight. The reason why the 13 year old communicated with this adult and told the adult to pick her up is because she was having challenges at home. And here's another thing as well, too. I'll bring up a point, too. If you're a parent out there, you need to be aware of your child's your communication on a social media, on the, on the device. You might want to look over, you know, restrict the movements, you know, or restrict the timing that you spend on the internet, on the device, the phone, tablet. You know, you got to be aware because sometimes, you know, and you got to spend time, if you're a parent, you got to spend time with your kids like that. Lack of parenthood like that is going to make these kids drift off and wonder and seek another parent figure. So she wanted to run away. She felt like she could not talk to anyone in her home. That's the she problem. She did not too. feel as if she had a support network around. And that's the thing that these that's that's the thing what these real sickos do. They prey on vulnerable weak children that don't have a background and don't have a structure in their home. That's why I say if you're a parent out there, you need to communicate with communicate with your kids. On her in her community. And so this person on the app, this monster, this predator, said all the right things. Yep. If we don't validate our children at home, monsters know the game of validation away from home. Exactly. And because of that, she insisted, this is a good idea. She is a child. And she, she did felt, not know oh, this guy, what she was no, doing. No, no, this guy, and as soon as she thing. realized, oh, it yeah, is time give me what I want for me to get out of this situation. She told an adult. I'm glad she did. Me too. I'm glad she's alive. And I'm also glad she figured out what's going on that's not right. And, that very, and I'm glad that she said, I want to go home. Human trafficking is on the rise in many areas, including yeah. Atlanta and major cities across the country. And I just did a story last month about, a, a, you know, of all people, a cop groom me and prey on vulnerable children as a matter of fact if you look at the correlation between church conferences and child human sex trafficking they correlate like hand and glove isn't that something adrian thoughts you know, you definitely said it all. It's the fact that you have children out there who are especially vulnerable. Uh, we are all particularly vulnerable right now coming out of this pandemic, as well yeah, as we dealing with all of the social issues that are ongoing. But our children are most vulnerable. And there are people out there who are going to use that opportunity to exploit them and to essentially exactly. change the course of their lives forever. And so, yes, definitely ensuring our children know that they are validated and heard is something that we do have to invest in, even if we ourselves are challenged are essentially struggling with that in this very moment yeah. because there are monsters out there like this man. Yep, exactly. And like I said, these people like the doofus dinkus, the fellow moms, the cat ladies, the Kozaks, the urban disciples, the glitter stalkers, the boohoo effects, the Nicolas, 
the Puss Ass GDs, I Could Be, you know, and some of the other UPK Twitter, uh, Discord flunkies, they don't, they're not going to see this. They're, they'll just pass it by like it's nothing. But this is a real state of uh, I mean, mind mentality, ladies and gentlemen. There are real, disgusting monsters that prey on like that. Why do you think there are creep catchers, predator poachers, or did, did get these scumbags, these deceiving, disgusting creeps, these sick monsters off the streets and behind bars? Think about that. And if you're a parent, spend time with your kids. And with that said, I'm out of here. My job. Peace out. Much love and respect.